Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning and I got some orders to pack up. Let's get to work. All right, first thing is the other Super Nintendo. I had two of these. This was part of a recent video game find that I had at a garage sale. This was in it and the power cord was in it, but I had to get an AV cable and a controller to complete it. And it sold for $44.99 plus shipping. Next is a pennant. There we go. This is from the 70s when the Rams were in LA. Then they moved to St. Louis and now they're back in LA. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Let's go out to a viewer named Cynthia. She says, huge fan of your videos. Keep up the good work. Cynthia, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, next is a Halloween costume. This is an octopus costume. I got a big box of costumes at a garage sale a year ago, and my daughter's kept most of them, and she wore this for Halloween last year. And now I decided to sell it because she's outgrown it. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing is a snow globe. Yep, right here. Um, I went ahead and boxed this up. One time I listed a snow globe, I put it in a bin, and I had it in some bubble wrap, but I guess I didn't protect it well enough, and it just exploded and made this big mess. So this one, I went ahead and boxed up. I got this at a garage sale probably three weeks ago. I paid five bucks for it. I had it listed for 20 or best offer. Somebody offered me 10. I countered with 15 plus shipping, and they took it. I sold a camcorder. Right here, JVC Vario. I got this at a church sale probably two months ago. I paid either three or four dollars for it. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Sold a jigsaw puzzle. I think it is right here. It's a sealed puzzle of a bunch of nutcrackers. Picked it up for a buck. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, next order has two items. The first is here in B1. It is this little cast iron angel. For the life of me, I cannot remember where I got this, but it sold for $10.99, free shipping. Next thing is in B3. This is a little folding calculator. Uh, this was with the stuff that my neighbor threw out, but it works perfectly. It sold for $9.99, free shipping. Both of those are going out to a viewer named Darian, and she sent a nice message with it. She says, love your channel so much that it inspired me to try the reselling business. Took off this year from community college to save for next year. Heavily considered two part-time jobs. Now I resell and do one part-time. I was able to put aside $1,000 in my college savings within my first month just from reselling. You truly made such a difference in this 20 year old gal's life and I owe all the success to you and the channel. That is incredibly nice of you to say. Thank you so much. And it sounds like you were doing amazing reselling. So good luck to you with the college and reselling and everything. Thanks for the support. Okay, next thing is in A2. This little guy right here, this is a uh, flashlight upgrade. Uh, basically just has more uh, lumens, more wattage uh, for a little handheld light. This was also in the stuff that my neighbor threw out, and this sold for $9.99, free shipping. Okay, I sold a Michael Kors handbag. Got this at a garage sale about a month ago. I was out with my dad that day. I paid $3 for it. I listed it for $35 or best offer. Somebody sent me a best offer of $25 plus shipping. Okay, I'm pulling two things out of storage today. The first is this Cleveland Wedge. This is a graphite shaft ladies wedge. Um, it was part of that big golf buy I just made. I saw I probably got a dollar under this. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. The other thing is a sale outside of eBay. Can't remember where I put it. Here it is. This is a Metal Coors Banquet Beer sign. I got this at a garage sale for three bucks. It's cool because it's already got the uh, little foam pieces and sticky. So like. I'll just stick right on the wall. Your name Tina reached out to me about this sign and she bought it for $30 free shipping. Tina, thanks for the business. Hope you like the sign. A buddy of mine reached out to me and he had a lot of overstock of stuff that he just couldn't get around to listing and reselling. I don't think he does a lot with eBay and he just wanted to clear a bunch out. So I bought it from him. I spent $525 and I'll show you what I got. There's two big totes of hats. Um, there's about 220 hats. Here's a vintage Ohio State jersey shirt. There is some military uniforms. It's kind of cool. Here's a army tie. There's a phone. Here's like a disc repair system. A lot of ephemera, a lot of paper ephemera. So down in here, there's like some old photos, catalogs. 
Oh, this is cool. Cincinnati over the Rhine description of history. Think there'd be some Cincinnati stuff in here. Another really big box of paper ephemera. Georgia State Highway Department catalog from the 60s. Oh, baby bottle ad? Youth core. Some DVDs, uh, a lot of Boy Scout stuff. A lot of patches. Here's like some Scout things from the 60s. And this beer sign. It'll take me a lot of time to list all this stuff, but I think there's some money to be made. I'm getting a lot of viewer mail recently that I want to show you guys. First thing is from Tulin in Canada. He says, found this Reds pennant at a local garage sale. I know, surprising, right? A Reds fan in Winnipeg, it just shows that fan bases are from everywhere. So he sent this Cincinnati Reds pennant and also this Kings Island coin. Uh, this is an amusement park in Cincinnati. Tulin, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. All right, next thing is from Paul. On YouTube, he goes by the Philly Flipper. He says, hey, John, big fan of your channel. Thank you for your insight and knowledge. Also, thanks for being super cool to everyone you meet. Found a bunch of baseball cards at a storage unit recently. Picked out some I thought you would enjoy. Big stack of cards in here. A lot of Reds. 90s Reds, too. They had a good team back then. Norm Charlton, Rob Dibble, Mariano Duncan, Billy Hatcher. Thank you, Paul, man. These are really cool. And... If you guys want to check out his channel, The Philly Flipper, I'll put a link down below in the description. Next thing is from Cody. He sent some ladybug stickers for my daughter. Thank you, Cody. Sure really like this. My daughter puts stickers on everything at the house. Okay, next is from Manuel. He says, Hi, John. Found this in the wild and got it for you to say thank you for all the great videos. Keep up the good work. My favorite videos are when you and your wife go out together. He sent a set of four Cincinnati Reds wine glasses these are really cool i've seen um i've seen the tall glasses before that these were from the riverfront stadium they say vip and my wife drinks wine from time to time so she will really enjoy these thank you manuel all right next is from the tc picker that is the twin cities picker because he is from minneapolis he says john i've always enjoyed sales and picking but was nervous about getting into the ebay game watching your videos has really helped and i am now on ebay as the tc picker he sent this Homer Hanky. Uh, this is for uh, Minnesota Twins fans, I guess, you know, to kind of rally the team. So thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right, last thing is this autographed Cincinnati Reds hat. This is from Andrew. He says, hey, John, thanks for the great content. Love your channel. Your videos helped me when I first started eBay and YouTube. I found this hat and knew you would appreciate it. I've been told autographs are from 2005. God bless Andrew, a.k.a. Profit Monsters. Andrew, this is super cool, man. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to check out Andrew's channel, Profit Monsters, I'll put a link down below in the description. Hey guys, it's Friday afternoon. I just got back from garage sailing and I got a lot of stuff to ship out today. Let's get to work. I sold a couple of decorative pieces up here in this green bin. These are part of a bulk buy I made, so I don't have a whole lot into these. I sold the Bavarian Bakery um, this one I took a best offer of $30 plus shipping and I sold the Bavarian Alps right here. Um, this one I took a best offer of $35 plus shipping. I sold these three Home Depot uh, carrying bags um, that my neighbor threw out. Um, they sold for $20 free shipping and those are going out to a viewer named Carrie. Carrie, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next thing is a mirror. I've had this for probably five or six months. I got it at a garage sale for a couple dollars. Had it listed for like 50 or best offer. It is Camora Coffee Liqueur, sort of like a Bailey's, I think. Uh, I took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. I sold a semi truck and trailer die cast model. This was also part of a bulk buy. I might have a dollar or two into it. I was kind of surprised at the value of this thing. Um, my box was really beat up, otherwise, I might have gotten more for it. I think I listed it for like 40 bucks or best offer. Took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. All right, next thing is a bunch of stamps. Two bags of them. These were in that bulk buy I made. Um, I don't sell a lot of stamps, so I don't know if they're worth a whole lot. These, this lot sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Those are going out to a viewer named Chad, also known on YouTube as Queen City Thrifters. Chad, thanks for the business, man. I really appreciate it. All right, next thing is in D5. There's a pair of binoculars. I picked these up probably two months ago at a garage sale. I paid 
five dollars for them they sold for 34.99 plus shipping okay next is another piece of that tricycle that schwinn tricycle it is the sissy bar and i think i'm down to just the handlebar on this thing i've, I've sold everything else this sold for 24.99 plus shipping okay next i sold two of these bark genies these were in a recent bulk buy I made. Um, I think they were like returns or something. So I tested them both out. They worked fine. I just sold them as a new open box. And they each sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is a Coca-Cola bottle paper sleeve right here. I believe this is my last one. No, I got two of them. I think both of these might have sold. Yep, they both sold for $6.79 each and they are both going out to viewers. One is going out to a viewer named Dave and the other is going out to a viewer named Nick. Guys, thank you so much for the support. Hope you like the wraps. Okay, next thing is a Simpsons poster. Right here. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I got this for around a buck at a garage sale. It was part of a bulk buy. And this is going out to be your name, Patrick. Patrick, thanks for the business, man. I really appreciate it. I sold this Ouija board, or Ouija board, however you pronounce it. Uh, I got this for like $2 at a garage sale. It sold for $13.99 plus shipping. I sold a light pendant. I've had this about a year. I got this clearance down retail arbitrage for about five bucks or so. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I sold a baseball glove down here in C6. This is a Rawlings. Um, this is in a bulk a lot of gloves that I bought. So I got about $6 into it. It sold for $17.99. Plus shipping. I sold a bumper sticker. Here they are. I got a whole bunch of these. And this is the one I sold for $9.99 free shipping. I sold some Harley Davidson Hallmark ornaments. These two sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I sold a vintage decorative plaque. I already had it wrapped up and everything to protect it. Um, I paid $10 bucks for this at a garage sale. Took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. Pulling a couple things out of storage that sold. First of which is this cincinnati reds commemorative bat um i just picked this up part of a bulk buy i might have about 10 bucks into it it sold for 34.99 plus shipping next is a set of ben hogan edge irons i have had these a long time i'll be honest with you i don't know how much i have into them probably not much but they sold for 39.99 plus shipping and last is another humidifier this sold for 12.99 plus shipping that's it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time